Objective accomplished. Commander, we have a new objective for you. Having analyzed the computer systems recovered from the new paradigm, we have detected and isolated an intruder program identical to the one that entered our systems at Project HQ three months ago. This program has been identified as the Nexus Intruder Program. It appears to have entered new paradigm systems at the same time it attempted to enter ours. This Nexus Intruder Program is a self-mutating computer parasite. This makes it difficult to eradicate from systems once it has been identified. We have been unable to ascertain its ultimate goal or function. In its initial form, it seeks out and isolates sections of memory from the rest of the invaded system. It then begins to mutate itself and data structures, effectively reprogramming the system from within. Further analysis was prevented by the manual shutdown of the system by our technicians to prevent additional contamination by the Nexus Intruder Program. However, the spread of the Nexus Intruder Program was not checked by New Paradigm. We need to capture New Paradigm's core systems to further investigate Nexus and determine its origins. Commander, you are to curtail the New Paradigm's activities in this sector and locate their main base. We are detecting new paradigm transmissions indicating that they are searching for artifacts in this vicinity. Intercept them. Do not let any enemies exit this area. Mission timer activated. I love the graphics Christine uses during her explanations. Someone should tell the writers of NCIS about her. Set all ten vehicles to do or die, load, and lift off as soon as you can. I will be changing my team from do or die to retreat at medium several times this stage based on where I have repair bays at, so keep abreast of them in your own game. The timer may say 30 minutes, but you have more like three. And even if we beat that first pseudo timer, there are still two other things we have to take care of in under half an hour. Immediately after landing, head east. Do not give any orders to attack the scavengers. Your nine combat tanks will fire at them as they pass by, but you don't have the time to engage them or their bases yet. Reinforcements are available. Unit under attack. Make sure your truck keeps up with the group, but not in a position it can be shot at. In hindsight, maybe I should have brought a heavy truck for this stage. Scavenger base detected. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. While your slow boys are moving through, bring in a batch of reinforcements. You're going to want to bring in the rest of your MBG, your bombard squad, and a couple spare fast trucks. But the order isn't too important, as none of them will be used in this first push. Get into this valley as soon as you can. Christine will be interrupting us with an update, and if we are not in there by the time we get it, this stage is basically lost. Unit under attack. Set up a repair bay, and if your micro is good, put your two MG tanks guarding your south, and your two cannons ready to take hits from the west. The new Paradigm Force has recovered a vital artifact. Prevent them from reaching their transport and recover the artifact. Reinforcements landing. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Construction completed. Unit under attack. The enemy squad we had to interdict is only five units. 
Two, however, are Lancers, which makes trying to do this stage with non-heavy body units rough, and the heavy body tank is the one with the relic that we can't let escape. He is going to try to head to his LC this way, but NP have that path guarded with various nonsense. So if he makes it by this point, we're largely boned. If you do take him down, then you get a small breather, as the stage's timer is now the only time limit remaining. Heal up whoever took the Lancer hits, and begin removing the scavengers from your behind, while finally grabbing the two loads of reinforcements you called in to join you. Unit under attack. Under attack. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Scavenger base eradicated. Assigned to Commander. Group 1 reporting. Structure under attack. Construction completed. Structure under attack. Assigned to Commander. Unit under attack. Group 2 reporting. Structure under attack. Unit under attack. Group 1 reporting. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Group 2 reporting. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Group 1 reporting. Unit under attack. Construction complete. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Scavenger base eradicated. Construction completed. Group 2 reporting. I did a bit of experimenting here to see if I could get the NP defenses from the side, but it didn't work. So, just ignore the sensor and position of my bombards in this exact moment. Structure under attack. Group 1 reporting. There are two ways to get to the NP landing zone. For some reason, Christine wants us to eliminate all of their units before we leave, and some of them are sitting at that spot, so... The direct route here is a mire, trying to move your slow MBG up and around the hills, and into the assorted NP defenses is not ideal. Instead, we'll have our MBG head around this way, while our trucks, backed up by the bombards, set up structures to move parallel to them on the cliffside to deal with the opposition. While we've had hard opposition a couple times so far, the big deal with this stage is the area around their LZ is packed with a half dozen Lancer Towers and a second NP attack force that is similar to the first. Slamming our heavy force straight into it and trusting that damaged tanks will be able to retreat is not a good bet, but you'll see a demonstration of that in a bit. Under attack. Group 2 reporting. Assigned to sensor. Group 2 reporting. Oh, they have a Bunker Buster team. Uh, MBG, about face. Construction completed. One reporting. Structure under attack. Group one reporting. 
Structure under attack. Unit under attack. Construction completed. Group one reporting. Reporting. Group one reporting. Construction completed. Group one reporting. Construction completed. Reporting. Scavenger base detected. Unit under attack. One reporting. Construction completed. The scavenger base in the northeast corner shouldn't pose any difficulty. Unit under attack. The sensor my bombards just finished off is how the enemy mortar tanks were able to spot me. With it down, they should be no more threat than any other unit, and we can start creeping our bombards around the map to get into range of other targets. Group 1 reporting. Group 2 reporting. One reporting. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Construction completed. Scavenger base eradicated. Group two reporting. Assigned to sensor. Reporting. Construction completed. Major research completed. Construction completed. Group two reporting. Assigned to sensor. Group one reporting. Reporting. Group one reporting. Construction completed. Group two reporting. Assigned to sensor. Unit under attack. Group one reporting. Unit under attack. Two reporting. After being chased off the direct approach by bombard support, some of the NP vehicles decide to swing around to engage my MBG. Let's see how well that goes for them. Not too well, but some of these shots are definitely doing damage. I hope that we don't run into a situation in, say, exactly one stage where we are forced to deal with powerful foes in unavoidable bottlenecks. 
unit under attack. 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 Group one reporting. Construction complete. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Group two reporting. Admittedly, I was doing the parallel approach because it allows me to have two options for dealing with the opposition. In this video, the bombard creep ended up being the winning move. But if my MBG hadn't been where it was, there's no guarantee that the NP force would have done what they did. If they took their entire vehicle set and rushed my bombards, I could have been in trouble. Group 1 reporting. Assigned to sensor. Group 2 reporting. Construction completed. Group 2 reporting. Construction completed. Assigned to sensor. Structure under attack. Reporting. Group two reporting. Group two reporting. Construction completed. Assigned to sensor. Group one reporting. Two reporting. Group one reporting. Unit under attack. Group two reporting. Assigned to sensor. Group one reporting. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Return to LZ. With the last unit down, we can end the stage by returning to the LZ, which, given the only 30 minute timer of the stage, may be another time crunch for someone who wasn't prepared. Speaking of preparation, there's a lot of things that could be done right now for the next stage. Specifically, I could recycle my medium cannons at a repair bay, rebuild them as heavies, then recycle and rebuild all of my MBG and Bombard team, and then only fly back in 8 of them. If I were to do this, then only the 8 MBG units and any LZ. present trucks would be at my LZ for next stage, and the rest of the units would be sitting comfortably to the side. I didn't do this for two reasons. One, if you are watching this video more as a semi-commentary and less as a walkthrough, then it's entirely possible that you will end up at this stage's completion with your LZ packed with returning units, and I wanted the start of Alpha 12 to resemble what any first-time player probably ran into, to show that it isn't that bad. And two, I recorded this video five times due to various Turn issues, and by the time I got a good recording, I completely forgot. Group one reporting. So, to confirm your guess from last stage, yes, this is the heavy cannon and its defensive structure. Not sure how NP was using them last stage if they were trying to retrieve the tech in this one, but... Weapon research completed. Structure research completed. We were only keeping around the medium cannon tanks due to their high hit points, but their usefulness as a weapon stopped sometime around Alpha 8. 
their bigger brother here adds a welcome further increase in HP and a frankly silly increase in damage output, and almost two-thirds more damage per shot at a reduction of only about 8% fire rate. Group one reporting. While I'm not going to have time to adjust our medium cannons during the pre-lift alf part of Alpha 12, I will definitely be adjusting them mid-stage. Return to LZ. Indeed, the stage after Alpha 12 is one of the most panicked stages this game has. Return to LZ. So prior to the end of it, you will want to make sure all your ducks are in a row. And happily eating peas. Ten minutes remaining. Seriously, go look up YouTube videos of ducks eating peas, they're great. Where was I? Oh right, about to get to Alpha 12. Objective accomplished.